See, see the prophetic now. It, it has opened though. I'm seeing something like water coming from the sea and destroying houses. This is a national news in America. You just watch the news from now till November. You will see it. I don't know what, what, it, what that is. Whether it's um, a hurricane or a tsunami, I don't know. But I see water coming from the sea. Destroying houses. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I don't know which country now, but you will see this one in the news very shortly. I see a city. A city. What's wrong with your mic? A city being submerged with water. Rain. Continuous rainfall and then it's like the city is about to be submerged with water. You will see this one on the news. Whether you believe it or not. I'm seeing it. I'm telling you as I'm seeing it real time. Are you hearing me? But in America, I saw water coming from the sea destroying houses so we need to pray for them okay more than five million people in florida are under evacuation orders with the impending arrival of hurricane milton it's the most powerful category five storm with ferocious winds of up to 270 kilometers an hour let's take you live to tampa florida now milton is expected to hit the tampa area later and as we were saying with ferocious winds of up to 160 miles an hour. That's around 270 kilometers an hour. And as we were saying in the introduction there, that's why President Joe Biden has warned that leaving now is a matter of life and death as uh, the state's undertaken its largest evacuation effort in years. Well, they say that it's gonna make landfall in the coming hours and has the potential to be one of the most destructive to ever be recorded in the region. Well, of course, it comes less, less than a fortnight after Hurricane Helene, another powerful hurricane, hit Florida. Steve Nibbs has more. An evacuation siren on the streets of Reddington Shores in Florida. Debris is still piled up after Storm Helene two weeks ago, and now people are being told they have to leave again. Mandatory evacuation orders are in place for nearly 6 million people. As Hurricane Milton approaches, many are heading to safety as authorities warn that storm surges could be up to 15 feet, with warnings that if you stay when told to leave, you may not survive. We can rebuild homes, we can rebuild businesses, we can get people back on their feet, uh, but only if they go, they're safe and they survive the storm. We're not gonna be able to bring people back who, who stay behind in 10 or 15 feet of storm surge. Hurricane Milton is intensifying, now a category five with speeds around 165 miles per hour. This crew from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association, dubbed Hurricane Hunters, flew through it yesterday and felt its power. On the ground, residents are doing what they can to protect their properties before they leave. But there's real fear here. Apprehensive, it's really anxious. Yeah. Steve Nibs, BBC News. Well, our correspondent Gordon Carrera is in Tampa in Florida, and he's been talking to people who have been preparing for the arrival of Hurricane Milton. Here in Tampa, there is a sense of time running out ahead of Milton's really now imminent arrival. The streets in the city have been eerily quiet, hardly anyone's around. The few people who we have seen have been preparing their homes or their offices uh, for the storm, boarding things up, maybe moving things around. I think one of the things that's quite shocking is just that you can see around me the devastation which is still here from Hurricane Helene, which hit two weeks ago. And there's an enormous amount of debris around, particularly where I am in Tampa and the concern is that the massive surge which will come with Milton could lift up all this debris, move it around, cause even more damage and the fear is that the surge with Milton could be um, 12 feet or perhaps even more high compared to about half that or less with Helene so could be very significant indeed. There's a lot of work going on already to think about how the community will respond afterwards but first of all they've got to get through that storm which is now just really hours away from arriving here.
Gordon Carrera on the ground there. Well, the National Hurricane Center in the United States expects Hurricane Milton to make landfall as an extremely dangerous hurricane. The BBC's Sophie Rayworth explains why climate change is thought to be behind the ferocity of the storm. Well, Hurricane Milton will be the second powerful storm to hit Florida in less than two weeks, and it is currently traveling across the Gulf of Mexico. You can see its path there. And warm waters in the Gulf of Mexico have helped it become a dangerous hurricane that is expected to make landfall as early as tomorrow. Now, 